Hi, this is Gary LaRude, technical editor at Microwave Journal. I'm here in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress 2018 with Kevin Shanerock. Kevin is the Director of Strategy and Technology Planning at Corvo. Good morning, Gary. Thank you for having me. Yes, so let's uh, remind us a little bit, if you will, about the uh, products that Corvo does for the mobile phone. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Corvo has a very wide portfolio of RFFE products for mobile phones. We started our very high end, which we call our fusion products, which are very advanced carrier aggregation modules, which include duplexers, switches, and amplifiers. And then we have products such as the diversity receive modules for the antenna, second antenna chain, as well as Wi-Fi modules. Then we move down to our more, what we call our flex portfolio, which is very popular with our entry level OEMs, which includes transit modules and MBPAs. And then we complement both of those product lines with our discrete uh, devices, such as switches, tuners, and discrete filter products. So as you can see, Corvo has quite the yeah. smorgasbord of technologies and products to meet all our OEMs' needs. In the last few years, there's been a lot of growth in uh, Chinese OEMs making phones. How is Corvo positioned in China? Uh, China is a really exciting market. Uh, over the last three or four years, China has evolved from 3G technology to 4G technology. And in doing that, a lot of uh, domestic manufacturers such as Oppo, Vivo, Xiaomi, and Huawei have really done a magnificent job capitalizing on that growth. Um, over the past year or so, the Chinese market has began to saturate in terms of 4G subscribers. So it's a new challenge for these vendors in order to expand their footprint beyond China. So that's where Corvo can come in and really help them out. So as they work to expand their 4G technologies beyond the Chinese uh, marketplace into Europe, emerging, uh, emerging APAC regions, and uh, Africa and uh, Europe, what that means for them is more bands. Mm. And when you have more bands, that means more complexity. So and that's where Corvo comes in, particularly our RF Fusion product line. What we can do is provide higher levels of integration to make their job going overseas easier and faster so they can hit their time to market windows and expand their footprint globally. So that's an ex a really exciting opportunity for, for Corvo and it's been a, a really prominent growth driver for us. And regarding Huawei, they have uh, their own chi uh, chipset called HiSilicon, so that right. offers a very unique opportunity for us to develop custom products for that chipset to differentiate uh, their solution versus others. Nice. So of course, all the talk at Mobile World Congress, it seems like, is about 5G. We have the new radio spec, the initial version that was approved in December. Can you talk a little bit about how the mobile phone is going to evolve with 5G? Yeah, that's a great question. And there's, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, news in the marketplace today and a lot of different varied opinions of how things will happen. I think from our perspective, what it really means is the phone's going to have to process information faster and it's going to have to interact with the environment in many different ways, many ways that none of us have, have thought of yet. Uh, so from an RF perspective, what it means for, for uh, cost consumers is when they get off the plane anywhere in the world, whether it's Barcelona or United States, they want their phone to work. So they have to have ubiquitous coverage, and not only ubiquitous coverage, but high-speed coverage. So the way the, the amount of bands and the quantity of bands that are aggregated to get the data pipe into the phone to, to do all these great applications that are coming, they need to be able to achieve that to differentiate from 4G technology. Also, the way that the phone is, it works uh, in the user's hand, right? Um, with 5G, you, you're going to expect a differentiation in performance versus 4G. So the consumer really needs to make sure that that device operates anywhere in the world you know, at the speeds they expect consistently. Um, and lastly, uh, they have to do it in the same form factor, right? They, they, they're not going to go back to the days of the brick phone anymore. So the form factor is pretty much established. So we have to be able to do all these exciting things in the RF in even a smaller space um, than we do today. And um, uh, also some things that are, that are available be the way the phone interacts with the environment, like augmented reality, virtual reality, or sensing applications. So given that opportunity and the challenges, how is Corvo positioning for 5G? Yeah, thank you, Gary. As you can imagine, it's a pretty exciting time at Corvo. Uh, firstly, to address all the new bands that are required for 5G, we need to scale our technologies. What that means is we need to take our filter, switch, and amplifier capabilities from 2.5 gigahertz, which is mostly used today, all the way down to, say, 800 megahertz. We need to move that up to 3.5 gigahertz, to 5 gigahertz, even a millimeter wave, 28 and 39 gigahertz, as well as the other way, down to 600 megahertz for some of the new 5G bands. We also need to be able to combine the signals uh, for higher levels of carrier aggregation. So our multiplexing, tuning, and switch products are critical to, uh, to keep, keep investing in that area to differentiate ourselves. Corvo right now has a number one position in the tuning market, and we're heavily ad addressing that space and experiencing rapid growth because of the requirements for uh, my, massive MIMO. 
And lastly, uh, as we discussed, all these functions need to fit into our hand, something that is reasonable. So we need to com uh, continue on our leadership and in integration and packaging. Uh, new designs, densification of designs, smaller die, et cetera, et cetera, to create these really compact, high-performance modules that will work in the 5G phones and deliver all the requirements we discussed, making room for all the new features that the users can enjoy. Sounds like exciting times, and you guys probably aren't getting a lot of sleep. No, <laughs> but thank you. So Gary LaRude from Mobile World Congress 2018 with Corvo.